So Read Across America Week is the first week of March, and my favorite thing to do is to use diverse books during that week. So we're celebrating reading during that week. That is our main focus, but my students all are very diverse. They come from lots of different cultures and backgrounds. I have a lot of English language learners. So this makes Read Across America Week a very important time for me to be introducing diverse books. So in this video, I'm going to show you my five favorite diverse books. There are so many more out there, but these are the ones that I keep going back to time and time again. The first book that I absolutely love, and this one has always been number one for me, is Mango, Abuela, and Me. And I love this book because we have so many English language learners and inside this book, it's about a little girl whose grandma comes to live with her and she doesn't speak English and so she can't really communicate with her abuela. So what's really great about this is during this time, she works to help teach her abuela English. And so one of my favorite things, because this goes really well with my English language learners, is where they actually label the different um, different items with English words. So this has been really cool for students to see because many of them know that the students around them are English language learners, but they don't really understand why we're doing the things we're doing in our class to help them learn English and also learn grade level skills. It's very difficult. So a lot of the things that we use in our classroom really, I think, can be amplified by students who are not English language learners understanding what we are doing and why we are doing it. So this is one of my favorite books, and a lot of my students can relate to this. My next book choice has the most amazing illustrations. This is The Proudest Blue. And the reason that I love this book is because it talks about a girl and her sister, and her sister, it's her first day at school with her hijab. And in this book, it talks about some of the ways that students make fun of her or have a hard time adjusting to her wearing the hijab to school. So this is a topic that I don't think a lot of students really know about. And I think it's super helpful for them to learn the cultural purpose behind the hijab and how it's important to stand out for your differences and not be afraid to do so. So this is a really great pick, um, also a very beautiful book, and I highly recommend it. My next choice is one you may possibly already have in your classroom library. That's because it is by Amanda Gorman, who is a very famous inaugural poet and also an activist. But this book really is perfect when we're talking about diversity because this book actually talks about present day, some of the things that we are dealing with as a society and how we are slowly making change for the better and how we can be part of that change and build bridges. So this talks about that in a very positive light. We have a lot of negativity around certain topics in schools right now. And I think that this is a fantastic way to explain how we are trying to make things better for others and for ourselves in a very positive way. So highly recommend this one. This is one of my absolute favorites. Um, and I was so excited to get this one this year. This is actually new to my collection. Okay, speaking of my collection, that was a new one. And this is a very old book in my collection. This is one of the first books that I ever purchased from my classroom library. You can tell there's even some water stains on there. But this is Baseball Saved Us. This might be one you also have in your library. This is about Japanese American internment, which is something that I've always been really interested in because it is part of our history that is just so egregious. So kids especially are pulled to this topic and it's something I don't think we cover enough in schools. So I think it's a really important thing to talk about. Uh, this is one of my favorite books to do so. Okay, I'm ending this video with, again, one of my favorite new additions to my library because this, I think, it resonates really well with my students because we are in a border town. And this is Aureli is a Dreamer. So this is a beautiful story about, it's actually a true story about the author Aureli who came to New York as a child from Mexico. And she's actually a DACA recipient. So I think learning not only how difficult it is for students who come from another country 
Van have to learn in the story. She has to learn English and she's just experiencing a lot of things for the first time. Um, but also seeing how someone can become a New Yorker or an American and not necessarily have it be in a specific way. So there are many different journeys of immigrants. And so this is a really new perspective on one that is very, very common. And even though it's very common, we don't hear a lot about this. Um, we don't talk a lot about this and we don't have a lot of books about this. So this is most definitely one of my favorite choices. So I am very excited about Read Across America Week, having one new book each day that is a diverse book and it covers some really interesting topics that my students really can relate to. And I also want to keep growing my library. So if you have any recommendations on any diverse picture books that I can add to my library, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, if you are interested in learning more education tips for elementary school, please subscribe and hit the notifications button and click the like because that actually helps this video get to more teachers. Okay, I have another video coming out soon. It's about Women's History Month and some book choices. So once that's actually out, I will link it in this video as well. Thanks for listening and again, subscribe and let me know in the comments what your favorite diverse picture book is and what you'd like to see me do videos on as far as book choices go in the future.